We are up to the main event. Pro Wrestling NOAA N1 Victory Tournament in Nagoya, Japan, folks. <laughs> this happened early this morning here on the East Coast. Last night in Japan, August 25th, 2024. That main event is Kaito Kiyomiya, the GHC Heavyweight Champion. One of the best wrestlers out there today, folks. I don't care what anybody says. This kid has not been my absolute favorite. I've said that before. I like and respect him, but, I, I, but, but I'm beginning to do more than that. The more I watch him, the more he becomes one of my favorites. He's winning me over. Something I didn't think he'd be able to do, and I hope he can continue to do. He's made some moves. I'm not going to get into it. He's done some things in the past that I haven't really liked. He's a great wrestler. He's always been a great wrestler from his first day in the business to now. But just some little personal things he's done that I'm just going to roll my eyes at. But here he took on Jack Morris. Sublime every time. Jack Morris, the winner of this, advances in the N1 tournament to face Keno to decide who was going to win this whole thing. And this whole thing has been an, a visual of what Wrestling Done Right is. Everything about this tournament has been top-notch, awesome, incredible, serious, no gaga, no horse crap, no garbage, no comedy, no nonsense. This is wrestling. This is Noah. This is wrestling done right. And that's what this match was. It was more of a modern style, pretty fast-paced. Again, not super cruiserweight style, nothing like that. Not Azumi and Stardom high speed, nothing like that. But faster paced than a lot of Noah matches. Both these guys are super young, but very experienced. And so they tore into each other at a faster pace that is the norm in Noah most of the time. And that's okay. Because you see, folks, if you have a wrestling company and most of the matches are solid and good and well paced and, and you know look like a brawl, like a fight, like a contest, and you have one here or one there, that is a little more faster paced. And not that it doesn't look like a fight or an or a athletic contest, because this did, but, it, but it's just more of the modern style, okay? It's more of the modern style. It's okay if you don't have that in every damn match. And this was just Kiyomiya working over the right leg of Jack Morris more often than not. He did a splash on it. I think he did one of his... Um, what does he call it? The Shining Wizards onto his leg. I mean, he did numerous things to Jack Morris's right leg with the idea of using the figure four to take him out. And if not, when he gets him down to delivering a running Shining Wizard, he'll have a hard time getting back up on a bum leg, right? There's the psychology in this. Jack Morris worked the whole match trying to get the Tiger Driver on. Because if Jack Morris hits you with the Tiger Driver, it's over, it's done, you're finished, baby. One, two, three. And Jack Morris just tried to position Kaito Kiyomiya for that all match long. And Kaito Kiyomiya did everything he could to avoid it. This opened up Jack Morris to the leg damage. Because the more aggressive he was, the more he opened his legs, as gross as that sounds, <laughs> to shots from Kaito Kiyomiya, right? I mean, and that's what happened. Kiyomiya really worked his legs over, worked him down, got him into figure four. Morris did escape, but really wasn't the same after that figure four. Was still very good, but there was a little hitch in his giddy up, if you will. And he finally did hit Kiyomiya with that driver, the tiger driver, but he kicked out. He freaking kicked out. And once he kicked out of that, I pretty much knew what the result of this was going to be, and I was correct. Kaito Kiyomiya with multiple Shining Wizards. This guy can throw a Shining Wizard off the top rope. He can throw it in the middle of nowhere, out of nowhere, if you will, as you hear so often with these wrestlers. He really can. But when he starts doing the mood of poses with the I love you symbols on his hands and running in and connecting, grabbing the head and connecting with the Shining Wizard, you know that's over. And that's what he did here to Jack Morris. Finished the match just shy of the 24-minute mark. This was six minutes away from going to a 30-minute draw which would have put Josh Briggs in the final against Keno. Wouldn't that have been something? But six minutes short of being a draw. Sorry, Josh Briggs. What an amazing job he did. Kaito Kiyomiya advances. After the match is over and Jack Morris sulks away, and he did say afterwards, Jack Morris did, that he's in Noah for a long time. He's going to change Noah for the better. He's going to make a huge difference. He is pro wrestling Noah, is what he said. And love to hear that. Love to see a guy, the quality of Jack Morris, saying he is pro wrestling Noah, because maybe I want him around. But out came Keno to confront uh, Kiyomiya. They're in the same faction now which is kind of mind-blowing to me. Um, but he comes out to confront him and says, I want you to put that title on the line in, uh, in the final. We go to see who wins this tournament. I think it's September 1st. Let's put this title on the line. 
Kiyomiya? Kiyomiya agrees. So in the final of the N1 tournament, to decide the winner of this whole thing, the GHC Heavyweight Championship will also be on the line. Kiyomiya agrees. So we're going to get the winner of the N1 also being the GHC Heavyweight Champion. And that's not a prediction for Kiyomiya to win. That's saying no matter who wins this, that's what we're getting. The N1 winner and the GHC Heavyweight Champion who will then select their opponent because that's what the champion gets to do if they win this tournament. Instead of somebody else winning it and getting a shot at the GHC Heavyweight Championship, the champion selects their challenger. So whoever wins this will select their challenger. It adds a huge level of mystery to this. We don't know who's going to win, and then we don't know who they're going to pick when they do win. What a show. I said I'm going to give this a 10. I said that during the last part, the last match I reviewed, which was Keno versus Inamura. I'm going to slide it down to a 9.5. Why, Adam? It was great, right? It was awesome. It was awesome. I'm taking half a point off for no American commentary. Pro Wrestling Noah, I love you, man. Japanese commentary is better than nothing, and I enjoy it better than silence or just the sound of the, of the fans. But look, shows like this have to, at least all the N1 shows and all your major shows have to have American commentary. You just got to give it to us, man. You give me everything else I want about wrestling, so I'm not going to freak out. I'm not going to half a point off. 9.5 is still an amazing score. But Noah, come on. Come on. Stu Fulton, Mark Pickering, get them on here. They should have been here for this. They should. Every N1 show and major show should have American commentary. Let's get on that, please. But I'm Adam Lovell of WrestlingDoneRight.com, the old man wrestling fan, the wrestling snob, the creator of the intelligent internet wrestling community, the IIWC, bringing you all things pro wrestling, Noah, because it's the best in the world. It's wrestling done right and nothing else is. There's smidgens of wrestling done right everywhere. Noah is all wrestling done right, as you saw on this show. I'll be back with more coverage before you know it. Please subscribe to this YouTube. Please. I'm begging you, man. I'm begging you. Thank you to the 301 followers I have. You know, I don't expect to get multiple thousands. You know, Noah is a, a niche, a niche wrestling organization, especially for Americans. But I know there are more of you out there. Come and follow me, and I promise you, you'll love it. All right. See you again real soon.